Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Friday, July 19th, 2024, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Hyatt is close to a deal to buy Standard International, operator of the upscale Standard Hotels, reports senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill. Negotiations between Hyatt and Standard International are in advanced stages, according to Bloomberg News. A source at Hyatt said the talks were ongoing and hadn't been finalized, noting that Hyatt has walked away from deals at the last minute when there are issues. Next, United Airlines Chief Commercial Officer Andrew Nacella has blasted its low-cost rivals, arguing they've, quote, largely run their course, writes Airlines reporter Meghna Maharashi. Nacella said during United's second quarter earnings call that the growth line of the low-cost carriers is highly unprofitable. He added he doesn't see any new opportunities available in the sector. Maharashi notes a surplus of domestic seats, much of which has been spurred by ultra-low-cost carriers, have dragged down United's third-quarter outlook. Finally, Skift Meetings executive editor Andrea Doyle and global tourism reporter DeWitt Hoptimerium examine how destinations estimate the number of visitors they attract. It's an important number. Politicians look at visitor counts when determining how much money to allocate to tourism promotion. But comparing data from different cities is difficult. A tourism executive from Las Vegas said there's no one single method for estimating visitor numbers. One tourism board consultant said they've had to modify their definition of a visitor to satisfy a client. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. Don't forget to follow or subscribe to this podcast wherever you are listening and help spread the word about the Skift Daily Travel Briefing by rating us five stars or leaving us a positive review. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to at Skift News and hit that notification bell to find out whenever a new episode is released. 